Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to create and set up recurring payments on Square. This is so you can get set up with those recurring payments from your customers on your Square account so you can create those easy and predictable and reliable payments from your customers inside your small business again with Square. So that's going to be showing you here today's video. And of course, before we dive into things, of course, I do want to mention if you don't already have an account with Square, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Square. We'll take you right over to this page here where you can get started with Square for free today. Again, at that first link down below in the video description. And without ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So, of course, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged into your Square account. Now, in order to set up recurring payments, what you're going to want to do is then come over here to the left hand side under tools. Now, this tools menu may look a little different for you depending on how you got signed up with Square, or maybe if you're just brand new and you haven't gotten signed up yet, again, feel free to follow along at the link below in the video description. You're going to come over here to the payments tab. You're going to click on payments. Now there's a couple different ways that you can go ahead and set up uh, those recurring payments or recurring invoices or recurring payment links, just essentially you're getting recurring payments in your business. There's two different ways to do it. So you can do it through payment links, which I'm going to be showing you first, which is what I find to be the simplest and easiest way to go about doing it. You can also create recurring invoices, uh, which could provide your customer with some additional information if that's that's what you're interested in doing. Although it does take a little bit of extra work to get set up with, but I'm going to be showing you how to do that both ways in this video here today. So we're going to be starting with payment links. This is the easiest way to get recurring payments in your business. As you can see, we even already have a sample one set up, uh, but we're going to come over here to the blue button and click on create link. Now, if you don't have one, it might just have the blue button uh, in the middle here. So just click on create link and this will take you to the create payment page. So we're going to then choose the purpose. Now, when you're creating a payment link in Square, you do have a few different options. You can take a regular payment, you can sell an item, sell an event or class, or accept a donation. Now, in this case, for recurring payments, traditionally, and what I would recommend is you click on just take a payment. Uh, this will then prompt you with the take a payment uh, for your customer. Then we're going to go ahead and click continue. And then this is the link creation section. Uh, this will show you the preview of what the link will look like. And we're going to enter in here a title. Now you could create any type of recurring payment title that you want. Uh, in this case, we're just going to go with uh, gym membership, uh, uh, best gym membership or something, uh, gym membership premium or something. I don't know, something like that, right? Uh, that's just a sample title here for this tutorial. Uh, under frequency, this is where you select and set up that this is going to be uh, the recurring payment. Now you can set this to be anything from a one-time payment. Of course, uh, if you're watching this video, you probably want it to be more than one time. Uh, of course you can set up then weekly. So you can set up weekly recurring payments. You can set up every other week. So bi-weekly, you can do monthly, you can do quarterly, twice a year and annually. Those are all the different options you have here for the frequency in which you want this payment to be made uh, in your recurring payments. So most people probably for a gym membership would want monthly. Again, maybe if you're collecting dues or something for some sort of membership that you sell, you could also do annually, twice a year. It just depends on what you want, but you have all those options here. So we're gonna just go ahead and select monthly. Uh, now this can be any amount if you want your customer to enter in the amount at the link, or you can set this to be a specific amount for a specific membership. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and make it uh, $100 uh, per month. So this may be a fancy premium gym membership, $100 a month is kind of expensive for that. Uh, but we're just going to do that for the sake of the tutorial. You can also add in a description here that is optional. Uh, so this is the best uh, membership we sell, I don't know, or offer, I don't know. Well, you can type whatever you want there if you want. Uh, you can also upload an image here if you'd like to, and you can even also add custom fields if you wanna add maybe some additional information for your customer to type in. So uh, I'm just gonna say test here, uh, and then it will formulate here where you can see they can you can add a required custom field uh, for your customer to enter additional information. If you want that there, you don't have to. We're gonna go ahead and uncheck that here just for the sake 
of simplicity. Uh, and then you can also opt to redirect to a, se a separate website after checkout as well. Uh, if you wanna do that, you just enter in the website URL here. This could be like social media or some page or something like, thanks for subscribing. But uh, if you have that unchecked, this is what it will look like on the confirmation page. It will then give your customers the information. Your payment is confirmed, subscription details, renews every month, next charge on one month from when they were charged originally. And it will then save that credit card information or payment detail in here as well uh, from the checkout process that your customer used. So they could use Apple Pay, Google Pay, depends on what you have enabled on your account. Um, but that's essentially what it will look like for using the payment links. And if you do wanna see what that looks like as well, we're just gonna go ahead and click save here. And we're gonna go ahead and preview the link. Uh, and then this is what the checkout page would look like. Again, this is on a desktop. It will look very similar on mobile as well if you do send a uh, payment link. Uh, and that's the membership, right? $100 a month. This is the best membership we sell. Uh, now, of course, you do need to enable payments on your uh, Square account. I'm not gonna be showing you that here in today's tutorial on how to uh, activate your payment processor. That's sort of a separate uh, process, but this is how you set up those recurring payments. Of course, you will need to have payment processing enabled on your business account. Uh, you do have to get that approved from Square as well, entering like personal information such as like, uh, you know, your address and other personal details about your business. Um, so just go ahead and make sure you have done that as well. Um, all you have to do is then verify your identity and add maybe some identification, things like that. Uh, and Square will get you uh, approved in their payments process. So do make sure you go ahead and do that. It is available here at this link. If you have not done that yet, you should see the same exact link I'm seeing here in this account as well. Uh, but that's essentially what what the recurring payments process looks like for utilizing payment links on Square. Now to do this in a different way, this is in my opinion, the simplest, easiest way to do it. Uh, you can also email, text it or QR code this as well. Um, if you just wanna make it easy for people to access and then you can go in here and see the different payment links that you've created and easily go back here and share them, send the link as well and see the total sales uh, that you've made on a specific recurring subscription or something that you've created. Now, the other way to alternatively do this as well is you can come over here to the hamburger, you click back on the three lines here and go back to payments. And then what you're going to do is click on invoices. So this is another way to create recurring subscription uh, payments, recurring payments in your Square account is to create an invoice and create a recurring invoice. So invoices make a lot more sense. Maybe if you uh, have a lot of extra details that you wanna include, like in a gym membership, it's usually pretty straightforward, right? You don't need a whole invoice, but if you are going to be doing maybe some other detailed services in your business, could make more sense to do a recurring invoice uh, to provide provide the additional details and information for your customer. You do also have some additional flexibility when it comes to how to set up those recurring payments. So we're gonna go ahead and click create an invoice here. Uh, and then this will bring up the invoice creation page. Now I get my camera is covering some of the bottom right hand corner here. I will do my best to show you all the sections here, but essentially this is what a new invoice would look like. Now uh, that's what a traditional invoice would look like. Now to actually create a recurring series, uh, you're gonna close back out of that. So now we're in the invoices menu. Um, so you could alternatively get to that either from payments to invoices, or you could just click here on the tools and invoices, but you want to make sure from the overview, come over here to the invoices side of things. Uh, and then what you're going to do to get the recurring series of invoices, that's just the default invoice. You, those are one-off invoices to get them to show up as recurring. You need to click recurring series on the left-hand side here. Uh, once you have clicked recurring series and you're inside the invoices menu, uh, create recurring invoices and process repeat payments with Square. Now, it is important to keep in mind as well that the different invoices and payment links do have slightly different payment processing fees associated. And that's why maybe someone would want to create a recurring series of invoices because there is a way to get some cheaper payment processing. So we're gonna go ahead and click here with create recurring series. Uh, and then this will set up the recurring invoices setup. Uh, and then as you can see here, we have recurring schedule. So this invoice will repeat every month on day eight, starting on 1-8-2025. Uh, depending on when you're watching this video, you know, you, it will set up from basically the date that you started it. Now you can set this to start immediately uh, or alternatively, you can see the calendar here. You can click to as to when the invoice will start. Maybe in seven days is when you want the recurring series to start or in 14, 30 days. Uh, you, most people probably will set it immediately. Uh, and then you can 
set up each invoice's due upon receipt or whenever, you know, if you want it to be sent immediately and then due upon receipt, you can set those here as well or set them to be due uh, in 30 days. And then this is the frequency, right? So you can repeat every month, every day even. So in this case, you could go every day, week, month, or year. So you have a little bit more flexibility here in this case, and you can repeat every one or maybe every uh, three months or something like that. You can get uh, maybe every seven days or depending on how you want to set up your invoicing, most people probably are just going to do once a month. Um, that's probably the most common, but you can set up some irregular ones, like maybe once a week or something like that. Uh, just depends on what your business is looking like. You can also set the end series to never end. So it's a never ending money, right? <laughs> or you can set it up to end after a certain amount of days. So maybe this is like a payment plan that you offer. Uh, so you can set those types of payments up where it ends after a certain amount of days uh, or ends after you know a certain amount of occurrences, things like that. So each time it's billed. Uh, or you can set it to end on a specific date even uh, and set the specific date that you want things to end on. So you can get a little bit more customizable here uh, inside the recurring series of invoices, which is why I want to show you guys both ways in this tutorial. Uh, so you have after a certain date, uh, you have never. So we're just going to go with never to, for simplicity's sake, but I did want to show you that you have a different couple couple of different options there. Uh, you can also allow automatic payments with card or bank on file. So this is give your customer the option to save their card or bank on file. Be charged automatically for each invoice within this recurring series. If your customer opts in, your transaction fee for those payments will be 3.5% plus 15 cents for card on file and 1% for bank on file. So as you can see there, 1% for bank on file is a lot cheaper. So uh, you can set it up so you can tell your customers, hey, please pay with bank. It's a lot cheaper than having us process it with a credit card. Uh, so you can also let your customers know that as well. Um, bank on file is going to be the cheaper option here. And that goes for Square, but really any kind of payment processor at the end of the day. Um, so you can go ahead and check that there to have those automatic bills go through. Uh, and you can set up the accepted payment methods. So this is one way. Now, of course, as you can see here, you can get some lower fees uh, by paying for invoices plus you don't necessarily have to do that um, but then as you can see here you can check and uncheck so if you don't want to accept cash app pay or credit and debit card you only want to accept ACH bank transfer with a one percent uh, fee with a minimum of a dollar per transaction then that's one way you can save some money is just by allowing customers to pay via the uh, ACH bank transfer that's one way to do it you go through here and uncheck the others and you just leave ACH bank transfer uh, and then you have the allow automatic payments with your card uh, with or the bank on file. That's going to be the cheapest, easiest way to set up those recurring payments with Square. Um, now, again, here is where you would select it if you maybe have a customer and you're adding a specific card on file to them. Uh, you can have customer actions, so you can enable tipping as well. Uh, I get most people probably are not going to be tipping in this case, but you can add that if you want. Uh, you can also share it via email and other things down here. Of course, we have shipping off. That's, again, covered by my camera, but essentially you're not really going to be using those features anyway. Um, but that's the main things here on the right side as far as setting up the scheduling and the invoicing and the payments options. In terms of the actual uh, invoice here, as you can see, you can add a customer information. You add their name, uh, invoice title. So let's just say it's creating a new customer, and we're just going to call this uh, Bob or something, right? Create new customer, Bob. Uh, okay, cool. Now uh, you have to enter in email address and all that. And here for invoice title, we're just going to go ahead and type in a simple test one like test uh, or maybe something like lawn care. Uh, this is like a monthly subscription for lawn care. Uh, we have a service date. So set seven days, we're going to say uh, seven days after it's sent. Maybe that's the service date that we're actually doing it. You can set the invoice ID if you don't want it to look like, oh, this is the first invoice you've ever sent. Uh, you can also add some additional numbers there if you want. Uh, you also have a message you can write with AI here, although I, I don't necessarily would recommend that. You can add some sort of message. And then here you can add in the additional line items. So maybe this is like uh, a lawn cut or something like that. Uh, adding that item here, lawn cut and quantity price. You can go ahead and add in the price here. So let's just say it's like $100 uh, per cut. And then this is going to be that recurring invoice that it's just like per 
uh, uh, per month. You can also add a late fee here as well, which is something you can do uh, inside the invoices. So you can add a late fee percentage or a flat late fee, uh, as well as a grace period that you can include here on the invoice, which is something pretty cool that you can do. Um, if you maybe you have a lot of customers and it can be hard to chase them down, you can add late fees in there as well, uh, as well as maybe specific service charges or discounts. You can go ahead and add that in as well and just add it here to the invoice. You can also add attachments and some custom fields here uh, if you would like to. Now, the custom fields are on the plus version, but you can add an attachment too. maybe if you have pictures that you need to add to an invoice. Um, but you can go ahead and save that and then send it to your customer. We're going to go ahead and preview it just to show you sort of what that overall view looks like. And this is for the client view. So as you can see here, Joe Schmo uh, sent you an invoice for $100, invoice due, lawn care. Uh, and then this will... Uh, be repeating as you can see here repeats monthly on the 8th because uh, this is a recurring invoice and it repeats indefinitely um, and then you know you can easily go in and cancel this for customers as well if you need to in the future um, of course you can still do that but this is what it looks like to get set up with those recurring payments uh, in your business via the invoices again you can add a lot more details and information here uh, and maybe some additional settings as far as how you want things to look. Again, I haven't really updated like the logo branding here, but it can look a little bit more professional and you just have a little bit more flexibility here by doing it via invoices versus just the payment links. Payment links is a lot simpler, easier to use, uh, but invoices may look a little bit more professional for certain types of businesses and you might wanna go with that instead. So figured I would show you both different ways how to do that here in today's tutorial. Uh, but again, guys, that's pretty much how you go ahead and create and set up recurring payments payments in your Square account. Guys, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Again, if you have not already signed up for Square, you can go and check out that first link down below in the video description. That's brandvaleski.com forward slash Square. It will get you right and set up with Square for free today. Again, at that first link down below in the video description. If you guys found this video helpful or enjoyed it, then be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.